everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, Ni Hao, I'm Lizzie, or as the Chinese people know me, the lychee from South Africa. Firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for buying me a coffee. Some of you have supported me. I really appreciate it because, you know, sometimes my videos can't be monetized because I show you guys a lot of stuff from China and the copyright is really strict on YouTube. But it doesn't matter as long as you guys get to see the real China. I am happy. Today we're just walking around this fancy area. Look at that big cool building. So cool. And there's my cameraman Emma, who I don't really need anymore because I got a new camera, which is so exciting. Okay, let's get into the video. Chinese people are getting smarter. Why? Because the education is getting better and better. Now, before you comment that there are no work opportunities anymore because of what you read online or the younger generation don't want to work anymore please just hear me out so around 40 years ago in 1978 around that time Deng Xiaoping was then in control so he kind of wanted a reform to kind of kickstart the economy like the GDP that time was around 150 billion dollars so of course it took some time for this kickstart to come into play and really grow which is what happened in 2004 2005 when in some years it even grew 14 or 50 percent per year this is a massive achievement i feel like achievement is even like an understatement but yeah anyway look at this graph that i found about the us versus china because you know the US is the number one economy so that is why I'm comparing it to the US today not to talk anything bad but that time US was like in the lead in the lead year by year and look how China slowly but surely crept on around the US and has now been way better than the US each year with their GDP and I believe the core reason to all of this is the education system I mean, yeah, sure, a lot of factors cause this success for China, which is they have, you know, a one government, a stable government, and then also the work ethic of the Chinese people. The Chinese people work really hard. So talking about education, many years ago, China realized that to make their economy the best in the world, they have to have smart people. And that is why they invested in education. Like think about that time, back 40, 50 years ago, Chinese people were not really well educated. Yes, they worked hard, but they weren't well educated. Look at China today. Look at Chinese students. More than 6 million Chinese students are studying abroad. Many of those Chinese students have come back to either work in China or they stayed abroad and now are working in these big tech companies. Like it's not racist to say, always when you see these smart scientists, mathematicians, whatever, it's always Asians. And I don't know if you guys have realized, by the way, just this building is so amazing. I'm definitely gonna take a picture there. But yes, yeah, like the Chinese people, when they study, they don't study soft degrees, right? They always study the STEM, like the science, technology, engineering math and like language right they always study like really hard stuff and that is why i believe this investment in education has really made the chinese economy grow because so many people in this country are smart you know and so many of you will definitely say something that oh but the chinese stole technology for the high speed trains for example can we just talk about that? That time, they, let, they told people that they're going to build high-speed trains, they need technology from like Germany and Japan, they need ideas, and Germany and Japan could have refused the Chinese government, but they didn't. They gave them this technology, why? Because they got rewarded handsomely, very good financially, and that is what you call a trade, by the way, right? You pay money for some kind of information, for some kind of product. So that is not stealing. So just relax on that. 
And like I want to talk about this because I feel like oh here are here are diamonds. Ooh, love me some diamonds. But yeah, a lot of countries, a lot of people steal ideas from others. Like a lot of the times I take some amazing ideas from other YouTubers that I talk with you guys about because they have amazing ideas. So I take the ideas and I try to make it better, which is what countries also do, which is what China did. But because they are China, they get so much criticism from the world. They just ignore it and they build the best. I mean, they're, Japan is like the only country that can even come close to them with the high speed rail, right? China has thousands and thousands of kilometers of high speed rail and they just keep on improving. So they just go mind their own business. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at that big tree. Wow. Okay, we're anyway gonna pause there now. But yes, China have put in, <gasps> China have put in, China have put in everything they learn from others and what they invested in with their own population to good use. And they have used their knowledge to really evolve. I mean, think about the infrastructure in China. There's nowhere else in the world. Like, yeah, Dubai has a few big buildings, which is cool. But here, every single city is like, yeah, mind blowing. It's really amazing to see, especially if you have ever been to China. Like, it's really cool to see the infrastructure and you just feel rich when you're walking around. But to talk about the education, like China sends so many students to go study either in China or abroad in the best universities, because in the best universities, you get the best education. And that is what really matters to China. Like I'm not biased for China. It is just the truth when you look at the statistics. Chinese students who even study in Western universities are so much higher, like above Western students, Western countries. And it's because the Chinese have really implemented from a young age that education is important. I mean, the USA in the past 20 years, they have also spent a lot of money on education on evolving their country, but nothing has changed in the past 20 years for the Americans. Maybe they have gone down like that graph I shown you, like it's really just getting better and better for China. Like what is happening in America is just a complete contrast to what is happening in China. Like if you look at a first tier city, private education systems, like People really spend a lot of their money. Yes, some of them are rich, but they spend most of their money on their kids' education because they know how important that is. I mean, they pay money. They care about teaching their children skills, you know, helping their kids to learn a lot of skills. I mean, coding. People in China, I've never heard this, but in China, they have like these Lego blocks that they teach three or four year olds how to code. I'm 27 years old and I don't know how to code. So bravo for those three or four year olds. But talking about young kids, it's like so many parents ask me, oh, like Lizzie, but how did you learn when you were three, four years old? And I'm always not really embarrassed to say that, but I'm like, I didn't learn when I was three or four years old. I was playing the whole day, every day, because you know, it is true like foreigners do care a little bit more, let's say about social skills and sport. So I'm like, I don't really know what to tell you, mom. I'm really sorry, but yeah, we definitely didn't learn a second language as three or four, let alone learn our own language that time. So I don't really have advice. <laughs> Just, yeah. I mean, some of my students right now in my nursery groups, they can't even sit on a chair properly and they are learning English. They are learning a second language. That just puts things into perspective for you guys. We're at this kids area right now. Unfortunately, I can't go in. Sometimes I'm a little bit jealous. I'm not a kid, but yeah, I can't go in there right now. But talking about like education, think about countries again, like Germany, Australia. They are making it so easy now for workers to go get a visa to work in their country because they have realized to grow their economy, they need skilled workers and 
they have not invested that into their population so they are struggling a bit with that so they need people from other countries to come and work for them help their country evolve and get better and that is something china already did 40 50 years ago and that is why they are so far ahead and just keep on going up oh look here see this is nice while i'm making videos well it's not nice because sometimes i just spend money because it's so nice to see all these little shops some kids some ultraman oh here are some pet boxes but yeah very nice guys let me give you a really good example it's like years ago no one would buy like chinese people right the chinese population in china would not buy their own iphones they would not buy chinese iphones because they thought it's not good quality you know even for us when i was young everything that was like made in china had that made in china stamp was like a joke and look at life today in china there is no one that i know was out a chinese brand something computer or phone whether it's you know the chinese iphones whether it's huawei which is just exploding right like long time ago maybe just the older population would buy something like that but today today even the younger generation us everyone in china cars i mean think about xiaomi oppo vivo they have not just phones computers now they're bringing out cars which are so cool oh here we got some skateboarding wow coolios okay wow that's something i can't do but yes like <laughs> it is just i hope you guys can just try to understand what i'm trying to explain to you today oh look at him do it yeah <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys can try to understand what i'm saying just get it into perspective of how China is growing and that all these markets like these big companies they don't even need to go to foreign markets they don't need to promote their products outside of China because the Chinese population now feel like it's higher quality it is the best quality and that happened in only 40 50 years like the Chinese brands are just leaders everywhere in the world right now and I believe that is the result of having smart people in your country, you know, investing into education. And it's sad to say, but it's true, like for the future, if Western countries don't improve quickly and big, they are going to keep falling behind, like they are already behind and they're just going to keep on falling behind like i don't know if you guys even know this but china invests around four percent of its gdp into education now remember china is a bigger country so four percent that is insane to think you know and definitely like a country like the us they're scared right now because they never had a challenger for 30 40 years they were ahead they were chilling cruising through life and now they have a challenger you know, when I talk about stuff like this, it's really interesting for me to engage with you guys about your different perspectives because I'm sure that a lot of you have different perspectives. So please share that with me down in the comments below. Let's start a discussion about it. I would really like to hear how you guys feel about like education, China, and why actually the Chinese economy is so far ahead of the US year by year and soon is going to, you know, be in the lead completely like take over the us completely so yes that is the end of my video look this so cool all these areas but yeah i hope you guys had a great talk and walk with me today walk and talk whatever you want to call it please remember to subscribe and like this video if you did and yes everyone i will see you in the next video have a great day bye